Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program. On Health Check at 11 tonight, a new way to collect stem cells. The cells have the potential to cure dozens of medical problems, and now collecting them can be as easy as a trip to the dentist. Health reporter and registered nurse Ali Gorman is here, which is not to say that a trip to the dentist is easy. I know, I was just going to say that I hate going to the dentist. Nothing against my dentist, but not many people like going to the dentist. But that's, what's, that, that's what we're talking about here. And we're talking about <laughs> adult stem cells, similar to the ones that you get from umbilical cord blood. But if parents missed that opportunity, there's now another way to save your child's stem cells with the hope that the cells can make a difference in the future. So, Javier, how you doing, buddy? Seven-year-old Javier Call has a loose tooth, but instead of letting it fall out on his own, his parents have decided to have it extracted by his dentist so they can save the stem cells. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a spray. Dr. Carlos Gomez says it's a fairly recent discovery that potentially life-saving stem cells can be collected from dental pulp. So on the blood vessels, on the... Um nerve of the tooth, that's where we get the stem cells from. Stem cell researchers such as Margaret Keller of the Coriel Institute say stem cells hold a lot of potential to someday help cure diseases such as Parkinson's disease and diabetes. Stem cells from cord blood are already helping treat some cancers. Keller says stem cells from dental pulp have the ability to turn into new bone, cartilage, or muscle cells. They have the potential to be used for things like uh, bone injury, uh, cardiac injury, uh, um, and p potentially muscle injury. Javier's mother says they hope they never have to use the stem cells, but want to save them just in case. Just to have a little bit piece of mine, I guess. Please right here. To collect the dental cells, Javier's tooth is pulled. We should have at least half of the root still on the baby tooth. The tooth is then packed up and sent to Stem Saves Lab, where the cells are cultured and frozen. The initial processing fee is $590. Then it costs $100 a year to store the cells. Keller doesn't discourage anyone from saving dental stem cells, but warns the research is still in the very early stages. I think the limiting factor at this point is it's not clear how long it will take to go from banking the cell today to a clinical and uh, an approved uh, application in the future. For the calls, they see it as an easy way to bank cells. How do you feel, Javier? Good and an investment they hope will pay off if ever needed. I think it's just the future, stem cells. And another benefit to the dental stem cells is you can save your own as opposed to using a donor, so there's no rejection. This can be done with baby teeth and with wisdom teeth. And Jim, there's about a handful of dentists in our area now doing this. So pull a tooth for stem cells. Yes. All right. Tooth fairy still comes, though. Thank you. Mm -hmm.